Hi, this is Prios and I'm a professional gambler. Today I want to talk about a really important news topic. This topic is as important as Black Friday was for poker, maybe even more important, especially if you look into it from the perspective of an ambitious or even a pro player. A lot of poker news sites already covered the topic. This is about the German high stakes pro who got caught cheating. But most of these sites, I would say none of it, got the scope and impact which could have on poker. But before we get into the topic, please make sure to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm and to help my channel grow and also to show some appreciation for the hard work I put into these videos. As this is out of the way, let's first recapitulate on the story and then I will tell you why this could be the beginning of the end for online poker. A German high stakes poker pro is accused of using solvers while in game. Most news sites called this real-time solvers, although I suspect that he is just using a normal solver for which he has a server with many sims run in advance. Fedor Kruse was outed on 2 plus 2 by his former roommates for using real-time assistance software or RTAs. These tools were mainly used on Stars, VPN and GG Poker. Kruse came from the gaming world to poker. Kruse was a successful streamer playing Call of Duty. He got a YouTube channel with more than 400k subs and his Instagram also has 50k subs. On Twitch he also has 150k subscribers. But he wasn't using his social media lately. Why should he if he can crush high stakes poker instead and earn a killing? If the accusations are true, he also cannot stream his play for obvious reasons. Going through the 2 plus 2 thread and also looking at the meteoric rise, I think it's likely that he was using real-time assistance software to move up in stakes that quickly. The additionally presented evidence is also conclusive. For example, there is a picture of his alleged setup. The pro is said to have used two different computers with two sets of mouse and keyboards in order to circumvent the usual safety protocols of the online poker sites. In addition to that, the accusers say that he had thousands, maybe even millions of sims of most possible spots pre-solved to be able to get the optimal solution quickly and to follow the solver's advice. This might need some explanation. Solvers take some time to calculate spots. That's why it's hard to use them real time as the calculations might take too long. But if you already got most sims run, you can see the correct answer right away and act accordingly. If you don't have the exact spot solved yet, you can also look into familiar ones and that will give you a close appreciation of the optimal play. If you don't got the solution for a flop of 2 to 5, for example, um, you can go to another one with 3 to 3 5 instead. His roommates also confronted him with the allegations, but he doesn't consider it to be unethical. Another strong indication of his guilt is that he consistently makes very non-intuitive plays for humans, which are all solver approved. You now might ask why this story is so important. Cheating in poker happens all the time and it's nothing new, you might say. And you are right stating this, but this story is another beast. This method, which might not be considered cheating by some, is a complete new form of cheating, which is really hard to spot and that gives the people who do this an enormous edge. I already saw this possibility years ago, but I never used this trick or cheat or however you want to call it because I considered it unethical and I also don't want to cheat other players. I would have no problem to take money from casinos, which business model already has built in fraud. But taking my money from, from other players with questionable techniques never was appealing to me. I also think this might just be the tip of the iceberg. It is quite possible that many other players use this setup as well, but have not been caught yet. I mean, it's easy and relative cheap to set up considering the potential rewards and it's almost impossible to get caught if you take precaution. What do I mean by this? It is impossible to get you if you don't have any whistleblowers like in Cruz's case. 
if you are smart. You got to be a good poker player and you will have to play many hands without computational help. I mean, there are a ton of standard spots which you can play on your own. Just in really tricky and big spots you could rely on the help of the solver. This way it's hard to distinguish if you are just a player who trains a lot with the GTO software of course off the tables or if you used the cheat setup. Again, why do I think this news are so important? This is because I think this might be the final nail into the online poker's coffin. Most of you probably don't know but something similar happened to another game of skill that also has a lot of luck involved. It basically died because of solvers which became available. Basically everyone was using the software while playing and nobody had an edge anymore. And the few honest guys quit because they obviously got slaughtered in this environment. I am talking about backgammon. If I am not mistaken the software in question is called extreme gammon. But there is some good news at least. It is not that plausible that this is a huge danger to smaller stakes because people divide too much from GTO and it's better to use an exploitative approach to make the most money. But once you hit the higher stakes including no splits where people try to be balanced and try to play GTO this setup will give you a great advantage. I think many people already do this but are not detected yet. As already mentioned it's also hard to say if someone is, is just really good without cheating or if he has some help in quotation marks. I mean let's look at Linus Love. I am not accusing him of anything but you got a point if you say it's impossible to know if he has the same setup as Kruse or if he's just a human GTO machine who knows his shit really really well. As it's impossible to distinguish between honest players and cheaters if cheaters don't overuse a solver and don't use it too often where very non-intuitive plays for humans are suggested which are solver approved we obviously got a huge huge problem and this is bad, I would even say really really bad. There's also another issue. Now that the story has been made public, there will be many copycats. If they are clever, as I just explained, this will be poisoning the poker ecosystem. On the high stakes basically computers will face each other. Once people recognize this, the games will not run anymore. As nobody wants to grind in even matches where the rake slowly eats you alive. Games on higher stakes will only build around rich recreational players but they obviously will not have as much fun as in the past because the slight chance that they might win now decreased even more as they not play against imperfect humans anymore which were well educated but didn't play it perfect. Regardless of this Nobody in his right mind wants to voluntarily compete against a computer. Fish also might hear the news and might decide to not play online anymore because the environment that was already not in their favor just got even more unfair. So in essence this is a threat to all higher stakes games and to the poker economy as a whole as this method of cheating is undetectable if done smartly. Also expect more bad publicity coming soon from copycats who get caught using this method in a non-sophisticated and obvious way. For example people might use the solver on the same computer as the poker client runs on or they might use the GTO solution in every single hand. Really important also is to keep the dream of the poker lifestyle alive and not to bury it because otherwise people will not play online anymore. If you are good and successful and if you are one of the best guys in the game you expect to make a lot of money. But this will not be possible anymore if all games above 2-4 will be poisoned by solvers in the future. If the dream of making a ton of money in poker is dead, for me the game has lost all its merits. One thing is for sure, how the industry adapts to real-time solvers will determine the future of online poker. What do you think? Is this a real threat to poker or am I a crazy dude blowing up an unimportant story.
let me know in the comments below. This was it for today. I hope you learned something. If that's the case, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe as well to not miss any future content of mine. Thanks for watching. Bye until next time.